guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna go to the bookstore and then yeah i'm gonna meet up with this girl that i met during like welcome week at my school and then tomorrow i'm gonna head out with sophia say hi to the vlog sophia <laughs> the trader jones <laughs> But anyways, there are a lot of new September releases, so I'm kind of excited to go to the bookstore and then I'm gonna hang out with a couple of friends. Then there's a Harry Potter store just opened over the summer, which probably every fucking Potterhead knows about. So we'll be going there tomorrow and you guys will be seeing that. But yeah, it's basically just like a weekend bookish vlog in my life. What else is new? I'm already running late, typical, but you guys will see me on the streets. Bye-bye. <laughs> These must be romances. Yeah. Half of these must be romances. Yeah. That's really bad. They're giving Probably. that bad. We'll, we'll know for certain if we see a shirtless man. <laughs> I'm just saying. This, this. Why like, is she not smiling? Botox? Look at the camera. They're kind of fun. Like, oh, yeah, and they have a whole, like. But it's like oh, called twins. I have a feeling they murder each other or something in the book. It's like they're twins. No, I feel like it's a very. It's giving vampire diaries. It's, oh my god. Yeah. I feel like I've heard her name before. I was in Brennan. Oh, I've heard that too. The cover looks kind of cool. Yeah. You know when you see half the face of a white girl, it's going to get serious. <laughs> She's going to get that's murdered. That's what I'm saying. Something's going to happen. She's about to disappear. Because <laughs> <laughs> I will be with you every second of my life. Okay. Hey, we just went to the Strand. Okay. This is Alex. She's very cute. She's a first year. <laughs> but we just went to the Strand. So now we're going to pull up to Barnes and Nobles and see if we can get there. Because they have more deals yeah. there versus like an independent bookstore. And there's more YA. The strand, so. And there's more YA. And manga, the important things. <laughs> we're asking the real questions. Go, oh, I want to be with you every second I got. Mm -hmm. I Gonna make it all right. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Even if you're down, I'm living on a shoe for one. Yeah, I'm gonna make it all right. Ooh, baby, don't cry. Don't cry. Cause there's always a tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, and if I could fly. It is Saturday morning and me and Sophia are gonna be on our way to Harry Potter soon. We're really, really excited because it's just, it's been so long since I've had Harry Potter merch or like anything in Harry Potter related. So I'm excited to get chocolate frogs. I'm excited to see everything. Part of me wants to pick up a love potion just for 
Nothing in particular, just shits and giggles. That's pretty much it. We're gonna be on our way though. I made toast, that's gonna be my breakfast, and yeah, it's just really, really exciting. So I'll see you guys when we get there. to update you obviously you saw me go to the bookstore you saw me go to the harry potter store now it's time for a little haul a bookish haul well first i have the harry potter stuff and then i have my books but i think we're just going to jump straight into the harry potter stuff because if i'm being honest that's what i'm most excited for so we're just gonna we're, we're just gonna hop right in here's the bag this is this side and this is the cool side very cool it basically has like the daily profit stuff on the bag which is like really awesome but yeah this is the bag you're in for a treat first of all i want to introduce you to crook crook
Crookshanks. I was stuck between choosing Fox and Crookshanks at the store and I decided to go with Crookshanks just because like I've always wanted a cat. And yeah, I don't know. It's just really, really cuddly. Like I wanted a little stuffed animal for my dorm and Crooks is just really, really cuddly and cute. And I'm just, I'm really happy about it. And I was thinking of giving Crooks another name, but I think Crooks, we're just gonna keep Crooks. Like it's iconic. Everybody and their mothers probably have the same stuffed animal, but you know what? It's just my Crooks and that's what makes him special. You're gonna probably see him often in the vlogs if I'm just talking to myself and just holding this and stroking it like an actual cat. Slytherins are like, I don't know, they're the villains of the story, so now I feel like I'm a proper villain because it's just now I have a cat to stroke. I don't know if anyone remembers that like trope phase where villains did that, but I do, so I will insert a picture and you guys will understand what I'm talking about. The next thing I got, guess what this is. Oh yeah, let's do a little sexy unboxing. Ooh, give me ultra careful fit. Ooh. <laughs> I finally got a wand. I have been wanting a wand since, actually as long as I can remember. Oh my God. And this wand is actually Narcissa Malfoy's wand. So it's really, really cute and amazing. And I just like, I was gonna get Hermione's because if you took the Pottermore test, you know that like they show their wand cores and everything like that. And me and Hermione have the same wand core. So I was gonna get Hermione's wand, but then like Narcissa Malfoy's wand was just calling out to me. As they say in the series, you don't choose the wand. The wand chooses you. This wand chose me. Narcissa See some Malfoy's. I'm probably gonna put this on my bookshelf in my dorm. It's literally so pretty. I'm just very excited about it. Next thing I got, butterbeers. We got some butterbeers. They're very cute. Um, I'm actually curious to see what it tastes like because it's supposed to be like fizzly butterscotch. Don't really know what the fuck this is supposed to taste like, but I'm very, very excited about it. I'm just excited for fizzy drinks. And either way, like if I don't like the drink, the bottles are really cute and I will be keeping them on my bookshelf. Now next, I got these cards these harry potter cards one of them says the quibbler and it's very colorful and it's very much gonna go on my wall and just accentuate everything it just goes with my i hate to say the word but aesthetic it goes with what i like i took the last one that that's how popular this card was can't complain there and then this card i'm gonna end up sending to my friends so hopefully by the time this vlog comes out like she wants to know that i'm sending it to her this one is like the daily prophet like it shows the moving image like they did in the movies because obviously like wizarding newspapers are different from local ones like they the pictures move so i like the way that they did that for this card and then i ended up getting this hogwarts journal i love it the pages are just very beautiful i like it because it doesn't have lines on it and it almost looks like parchment you know i was gonna get the slytherin one but the slytherin one is just the green was a little bit too vibrant like if i were to get a green it'd be like a muted green you know so i ended up getting the black hogwarts one instead and i can't complain the engraving is pretty cool the pages are pretty cool and yeah i just like journaling a lot so i knew when i went in there that i had to pick up a journal next i picked up these two postcards they're honeydukes i got these so that i can give it to my family and yeah that's basically the whole point of the my siblings are Harry Potter fans. Well, one sibling. My sister's never read or watched the movie. Well, actually, that's a lie. Me and my brother used to force her to watch the movies every single time they came on on ABC Family, if y'all remember those days. Like, we used to force her to watch those with us. So I'll give her a reminder of her painful past. And yeah, I just think they'll appreciate it. Along with that, I'm gonna ship these to my family. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like, maybe like split the box and send some to my brother and some to like the rest of my family. Um, But they're fudge flies. And yeah, not the most popular candy from the series, I don't think, but I just think they're really cool they're chocolate who hates chocolate nobody if you hate chocolate your mom's a hoe i'm just saying so my camera footage is literally cut off that was on me but back in business i also got the every flavor beans which are so freaking popular i'm a kind of a pussy though so i didn't get the ones that are like actually have every flavor like boogers and shit and vomit like why would i get that no so i got the ones that I'd actually enjoy these are just regular jelly beans but the packaging the packaging amazing maybe next time i go i'll actually get the ones that are like every flavor but i've tried them before so i was like i'll just get these and yeah just the packaging is amazing yes yeah, but it's like, they had like the every flavor that was like, oh yeah, these are like they every flavor. Ones? They had different ones. So I picked up the ones that was like normal jelly beans. I didn't know. You didn't see that. One. Girl. Last but not least, Sophia's excited about this one. The chocolate frog. Can we talk about how like freaking amazing the packaging is? Okay, so we're just gonna open it and see what's inside because I think if you open it, you don't actually like cause the chocolate to go bad. This is, I think. Okay, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. Oh! It's so beautiful. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God, look at how big the frog is. <gasps> Who do I have? 
I have Helga Hufflepuff. Ooh, queen. And it moves around. Bro, I'm so excited to eat this. Look at how huge this is. The thing is, guys, we're not even done. We're still on this ride. We're not even done. I have to show you guys the books I got from Barnes and Nobles and The Strand. Oh, this one big happy package. You guys remember how I read Hardcore Wonderland and The End of the World by Haruki Murakami, right? You should watch it. I will link it down below. That was my first Haruki Murakami book and I really, really enjoyed it. It was just an allegory for like capitalism and like the working man. It was just really, really amazing. Like it made me think so much. It was one of the few books that I've read that like made me actually went to like journal, put my thoughts together on a page as I was reading. And now I'm going to pick up a book I've seen often and that I didn't want it to be my first Haruki Murakami book though because it's like I didn't want a really popular book to be the first one I went to like one of his earlier works to be the first one But um, I'm really excited to get to this one too. It's a national bestseller IQ 84 Amazing mind-blowing never before seen. Well, it has been seen a million times, but now I own it Isn't that crazy and it's huge So I can't wait to get into it in the back literally the back just told me it's a love story a mystery a fantasy a novel of self-discovery A dystopia to rifle George Orwell's IQ 84 is a tremendous feat of imagination from one of our most revered contemporary writers Hello Hell excited. I don't even know what this is about. I already know Haruki Murakami, his writing I liked, at least like that one book that I've read of his I like. I've seen and heard so many good things about it. Like literally this guy in my like English like intro lit class, like he said he read this book and he loved it. So I'm excited. The next book I have has been on my TBR for a while now, ever since it came out. I think it came out, yes, it came out last year, 2020, the year of the apocalypse, the year of the antichrist. But this was a beloved book. It's also at least four stars. All the books I got were four stars, but I got Black Sun by Rebecca Roan Horse. Roan Horse? Roan Horse? I'll look up how to properly pronounce it. It'll probably be in a reading vlog in the future anyways, but I picked up this book and it's a Native American epic sci-fi book. Yes, I wanted to read more like indigenous books for one and for another it's just like it's like one of those books that I would never normally pick up like in the past because in the past all I read was like fantasy, uh, mostly YA, now I feel like I'm branching out more and it's just like one of those like books and genres that I'm excited to get into. Now I never used to be the biggest fan of sci-fi but then I read the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin which was kind of like a mix of sci-fi and fantasy and I kind of love that. So we're gonna see how this one goes for me um, but it has really good ratings so I'm hoping it ends up being a good book for me too. But aside from that, the cover is gorgeous. My nails kind of match, which we love to see it. But yeah, that's Black Sun and I'm really excited to get into this one as well. Let me know down in the comments if you've read it and if you liked it or not. But yeah, excited to get into this book. And finally, the last book I got. I actually never heard of before, but um, the girl that I went to the bookstore with, she really, really liked it. Like she's heard a lot of good things about it, but we both bought it there. And it's the Atlas Six. Apparently like this book has been sold out for a long, long time in the Barnes and Nobles, which is why I haven't seen it before. But the thing is, I haven't heard about it on booktube at all. To be fair, I haven't really watched much booktube lately, but I just haven't heard much about this book. So I was really, really surprised, but it's gorgeous. Let's read the first paragraph of the synopsis. Okay. The Alexandrian society, caretakers of lost knowledge from the greatest civilizations of antiquity, or the foremost secret society of magical academics in the world. Those who earn a place among the Alexandrians will secure a life of wealth, power, and prestige beyond their wildest dreams. In each decade, only the six most uniquely talented magicians are selected to be considered for initiation. It follows six protagonists. Um, it's a fantasy, obviously. It's just really, really good. It's also incredibly beautiful. Like, this book screams Dark Academia. Like, once the autumn equinox takes, I feel like this is gonna be like the perfect autumn novel. Let me sh show you guys what I'm most hyped about, okay? Well, one of the things I'm most hyped about. There are illustrations in the book, and I can't wait to get into it. So, yeah, that is the Atlas Six, and that concludes my book haul, and just my haul in general. As you can see, I bought a lot this weekend. I kinda have to budget and save in the next coming weeks. But yeah, had a really good weekend, and I'm glad that you guys along to see the ride. But that will be all for this video video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As per usual, like, comment, and subscribe. My medias are always linked down below. But I have homework I have to do. I gotta get back into it because as I always have to remember, I'm in school now. We are in the trenches. Again, thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. People, how you feel? Tell the people how you feel about the product. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I was like embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Tell them how you feel. I just had a peppermint toad. Peppermint toad? Interesting. Right. Wait, hold up. You, you want to give a sister one? <laughs>
Now that you're eating the candy, now I want to eat the candy. No. I'm literally just out here pretending like okay. I. Harry Potter candy. Okay, listen. When you have Harry Potter candy, <laughs> yes. you have it. Mm -hmm. You don't like nibble. <laughs> you have it. You eat all of it. I see. Here, you can check one out. Okay. Here it is, people. Here's how it looks like. And look at the if you would just focus. The packaging is cute. Like we said, all the packaging is very cute. Taste test. I wanted those, but also like, do I have the money for it? No, they're good people. I forget how good those are. We must go back. We I must go back. We have to get like all the others. Cause I haven't tried the 